right, today is Wednesday, September 16th, 2020. This is the Kubernetes CSI implementation meeting. Um, let's go down our 119 uh, release status. I think we're mainly just waiting on the snapshotter. Um, Shing, do you have an update on that? I think uh, I think it's ready. Just uh, uh, I rebased uh, the change log PR. I uh, didn't really pick up any changes. I think other than rebase itself, I did a go mod, uh, tidy go mod render. I think because it's already pointing to it's pointing to the local directory anyway. So. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we should be able to release today. Yeah, we should. Yeah. So after that, uh, that's merged. Yeah. I think I lost the logo to me. So if you can put that back. Um, oh, what did you? Because oh, I, I see. Okay. I didn't replace. I think it removed it somehow. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because detected new changes, so it's removed the label, and. Um, well, the new change is actually just rebase. I didn't really change anything else. Um, oh, okay. So that new PRs, and I will take a look after this. Uh, the new PR. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, let's move this to done. So let's see. Once the snapshotter is released, um, I think then we can go ahead and I can work on updating the host path driver. Um, and updating the host path driver and also updating the docs um, with all the new releases. So that should be um, hopefully all wrapped up this week. Um, the other thing I was going to do is open up a, a new 120 project board and then migrate um, all these backlog items over to it. Um, any other topics about 119? All right. Um, so let's move on to the rest of the agenda. Looks like there's a section question here about resize. Yeah, what? Uh, snapshots? What do you mean? Yeah, that's a snapshot. OK, so we have a case when user had one gigabyte snapshot and when they restore it they specified pvc name as two gigabytes oh, oh you basically so, okay so i think so, this one yeah i think this one probably we need some fix because um because i remember yeah th this one might be like a, a driver side need to make some change actually if it's bigger it may need to do a expansion Mm -hmm. um, because we have this in, I remember we have this in, in like Cinder, uh, when you create a volume from a snapshot or clone or something, clone has the same thing. Uh, you need to check and then trigger an expansion if the size is bigger. Right. Do we, um, do we keep a snapshot size? We we do so keep like the yeah. restore size, right? There's a restore size, yeah, yeah. But I mean, but the size, I think the the new volume may be bigger. So I think if you just uh, uh, you don't do expansion, it may not work right. Uh, so I know, I remember yeah. I remember we do have make, made that change in Cinder. Ben, do you I have see. any recollection of this? I think I think I we saw, probably need to add that. I saw CSV drivers that have different behaviors like AWS, for example, just restores the snapshot and the file system is small, but the volume is big. And it doesn't and work, that's actually no how the okay. user are subsized. But there are My also drivers that deny a restore. Who, who deny, I'm sorry, who denies? Seth. Oh, Seth, Seth did that because it could, it, it could not, and you mean it cannot do it? Is that the problem? No, 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 they can do work? it, they, but they just decided they, they will not, not do support it. it. Um, so I so you are basically saying there's some three system you don't actually have to do extend and you will just work maybe depend on the, the systems yeah so then you have or, to, no 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 it depends hmm? on the implementer of the driver basically I guess so so I, but I think there's also maybe potentially a problem um, in the in the spec itself or it, I mean not in the spec in the um, in Kubernetes because basically if you restore something that's smaller to a bigger volume, 
we're going to need to have to trigger the file system expansion somehow, right? And then also this would be like an offline case because you are, you are just creating a new volume here, right? Bigger, mm -hmm. so it's actually an offline. Well, so, but, but if we did something like say, we, when we create the, when we restore the volume, mm -hmm. we make the PV size of, as the, um, the restore size, and then we let the expansion flow take care of the rest. Yeah, then would that, that be possible? Probably, um, yeah, yeah that, was this, that would be that probably will be. But, uh, uh, yeah, continue. Sorry, I was just saying that that is possible. Like, if you just restore the PVC size to the to the what the snapshot was, and uh, then it will be expanded on the node. But oh, you're saying it's going to be. You think it's going to be automatic because? Um, yeah, it, it will be automatic if, if we do that. But but uh, Jan, I think wanted it to be an opt-in rather than being automatic. Like if oh. you uh, if you restore from a snapshot and you create a PVC size, PVC request size to be the snapshot size, and uh, and then the like sorry, PVC request size will be what user requested, obviously, and then the but the status reports the the what what is the size is and then it will be automatically expanded. So I, I guess so the problem today is we don't return a size. Is that right? Do we return a size? Which one? During volume create. So volume create and there is a I think there's a size. It's just an, the problem is it is optional. I mean that's the thing. It is optional. It is optional. That's the problem. It's optional and how can you make that to use that to make a decision, right? Uh, like optional decision. I mean, does it return the volume size? Mm -hmm. like the, the volume size or the file system size? I think it's only return. It doesn't return file system size. Only the volume size. Uh, it returns the block volume size, but the file system is not resized. Uh, what is the? Yeah, we need to check. I need to check the. I think it's should be similar to what we have in snapshots because I know snapshot we re we had a lot of discussion that we have this uh, restore size supposed to be. It should be the same as whatever the, the volume side will be returning, similar thing. Um, my issue with automatic resize is that like it could work for most of the users, but some of them really would like to have byte-to-byte -byte copy of the original volume. And if there is some rounding error somewhere and you just resize the volume because of that, then they could be surprised. Well, isn't that a user problem? They gave a bigger size? Ah, like the external provisional rounds the volume sizes. Oh, I think that's another problem that we need to fix. Like the oh, external yeah. provisioner shouldn't round. Okay. Um, yeah. But I think that's a separate issue. Yeah, yeah. I, um, like, okay. So, the sentiment is that we should resize the, the file system. Uh, yeah, I think we're wanting. So clone is I think, the same thing, actually. Clone has the same problem. Yeah, I, I feel like if the user actually requested a bigger size, then we should treat it like a, a expansion. Like create, restore the volume, but say the size is actually the smaller size, and then we let expansion actually resize it up to the bigger one. What if the um, does not oh. expansion? I'm sorry? I guess if the driver doesn't support expansion, then they need to return an error or something if they can't actually do that. If they can't do which thing? The if they can't resize the file system. They don't support node expand volume. Does that mean I mean, that, what, uh, what, what if it's a kind of plugin that doesn't have a file system and it just restores the snapshot directly to the larger volume and a resize was never needed? I, I was about to add that the controls, control side doesn't That's also declare possible. Node, side, node side capabilities. Sorry, the controller side may not declare node side capabilities. I don't know. I, I kind of, 
I feel like this was kind of the the SP's responsibility to figure out, but but now now that you're calling attention to it, I do see why it's kind of gross to to force the SP to just figure out how to resize the file system on its side. I think the main problem is again still like a lot of plugins I know they don't advertise no capabilities on the controller deployments. Yeah, but so even if they don't advertise a node capability, they should they should know if they support it or not. <laughs> you mean they only support controller side and they don't care, then maybe that's not a problem for them, right? Okay. Like I think I, I think basically the maybe the maybe we need to make this more clear, but like in the return value when it says capacity of the volume in bytes, I would assume that assume that is like the file system size if there is a file system involved. Uh, no, you can't, right? You create a new volume. You wouldn't have the file system size yet. This well, when you restore ah. from a snapshot, there is a file system on it. Uh, when yeah, you restore, the then that won't be the same be in all here. cases. That's... Usually you don't give the file system size. Usually you just give the, like the, the block. I think though the the problem is is in Kubernetes the the volume capacity in Kubernetes implies the actual usable file system size. But is it ever I don't yeah, but, remember reading anyone saying that's actually the file system size. In reality, because it's actually it's different. If you, the block volume size. And it's also also different if you create a volume and then you compile that after you create the file system you compile the size. They're, it's different. The file system size is smaller. Yes, but I but I think the problem is is that we sort of implicitly like assume that it's there's like a file system, right? We use the PVC capacity to indicate that a file system expansion has happened or not. No, uh, yeah, but I'm saying that the size is never right. The size, if you if you look at yeah, it, yeah, yeah, the size right? is never going to be the actual file system size, but right. the size is used to imply if we need a file system expansion or not. Mm -hmm. so, so I can we back up I'm trying to figure out how we got into this state. So the create volume create volume RPC does allow you to return a size and if if the if every SP always returned to the size of the of the volume that got created um, then would we be okay? Is it just a problem of ones that don't return the size from create volume or am I missing something else? No, I think the, the, I think the challenge is that when you restore from a snapshot, you can create a volume that's, you can create a block volume that's bigger, but the snapshot is using a file system that's much smaller. It, yeah, so, yeah. So, so like you have a one gig snapshot, I created two gig volume from it and, and and maybe some particular implementation of an SP will actually create a two gig block device, DD the, the file system onto that and the file system is still one gig. And, and then, and because it can't resize the file system because it's a controller plugin or not a node plugin, it just stops. And so then the question is, should he return one gigs or two gigs as the size of that volume that he just created? Yeah, what if he so I think- One gig and then Kubernetes would be like, aha, I need to complete expanding this and I mean, I yes, that is volume. the, I think that's the desired behavior, but I think so the, if it the expand it, it's going to, but will that work though? Does it? Yeah, yeah, because you'll say expand from one gig to two gigs. Oh, okay. The controller will say, oh, it's already two gigs. I don't have any work to do. And it'll just go on to the node expand okay. side. Okay, then that's maybe would be fine. Yeah, but, 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 it just, but this but requires that, that you, that you do fill out that field of the the create volume return. Yes. So you don't leave it that's, blank. That's an yes. And, and, and the other thing that it that it requires is that the you fill in the the size not of the actual block device but of the file system. Yeah. That part I'm not sure because the size the fact that if you if you go check the file system size is always different. It's always even you just no no no. In. What she's saying is the size mm -hmm. of like the the nominal size of the file system. It came from a one gig snapshot, then it counts as like a one gig file system, even but if it's it, only 950. Right, but then, that's, but then that means you always get something smaller. When you return. No, 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 you, you would return one gig. 
even though it, but that's not what I mean when you when I'm checking the file size it's always smaller it's always it's never one gig if I create one gig it's always smaller. it's not it's not really the it's not the actual the file system size. size it's the size of the volume at the time the snapshot was created yes, so that's not yes. really file system size it's basically it's still the block size this way it's the snapshot size is what it is it's the snapshot size so like you stored that when you took the snapshot you should have access to it when you restore the snapshot right but on the chain you say it's not it's even from file system size right? the file system size is just a but but like so so the point is is if your if your plugin was one that needed a file system resize you would basically need to return the snapshot size from, from your create volume call to indicate to kubernetes that like okay like i you have a volume but it's not the size you wanted so you need to do more work that that's how you send the signal so the driver uh, always returns that that type of thing i mean driver should be re always return the correct size i guess but, but it can well, return, I guess it can return zero if, if it wants. Yeah, the, uh, this, it's optional. So. This field is <laughs> optional, so that's that's a problem, yeah. right? You can't really rely we need on to, I think we need to actually make a change in the specs saying that, you know, if you I can't, it, the can't, or they can't not that it. it's required, but if you want this condition to work, you need to set it. Okay, yeah, maybe make it uh, clear when we really use this. Yeah. Um. That, that, that seems like the, maybe the, the nicest thing we could do is, yeah, just ex implement better behavior on the CO side and then maybe put some hints in the CSI spec so that authors who are reading it understand why they should return the right value there. Or, or, or specifically, if you're restoring from a snapshot, why it makes sense to put a different value in the, the volume size so that it's a signal to the COs that like, that you didn't actually get the volume size you wanted yet, and you got to do an expand to get there. Mm. But, but and then, then I guess there will be, that there will also be other means that can directly restore a one gig snapshot onto a two gig volume without having to do a resize, and they should just yes. return two gigs. Correct. Does that seem um, like a reasonable approach? Yes. Just mainly just to select changes, basically the. Well, and it wouldn't even be a change to the spec. You would just be more more wording. Word, wording, yeah, more wording changes. <laughs> so, just to sum it up, we agreed that we should resize the volume after snapshot is restored. If and if the size of the resulting volume isn't as big as the PVC yeah, of course, wanted. Of course, of course. And we will reuse the, the resize framework for that. So the created PVC will have will be marked for resize on Kubelet. Okay. I can see what we can do with that. It's mainly documentation. Um, see, we need to um, have we need to use the um, create volume response volume size and clarify in the CSI spec what drivers should return. In. So let me ask. Let me ask a hypothetical. Um, what if? What if a volume, what if a SP didn't support the expand functionality, but it did support snapshots and it returned a smaller size on the, on the volume when it was restored from a snapshot than, than the requested size? Like, you mean it what, returns like zero point? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, 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 like what, what if I have an SP that, that I, can, I can restore a one gig snapshot to a two gig volume, but you're only going to get a one gig file system and, and for whatever reason I haven't implemented expand, what will Kubernetes do? How, how will it handle that case? If, if expansion uh, is not an advertised capability, but I, I say that the volume is smaller than what you asked for. Like that's. I think we, it's still usable, right? Um, it, the, the PVC still bind. I think it's just that thing. Um, does the does the re, uh, word expansion controller keep calling it because now there's a request? 
You will probably oh, yeah. I mean the the expansion controller will know will know that the plugin doesn't support it. Does it does it stop? I, I don't remember that part. Come on. I don't think it blocks, right? Well, if if, if you don't support expansion, you probably don't even include the expander sidecar, right? The sidecar is it isn't there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, but so, the main there is a main controller there, right? The, the, in the in tree had controller is. But I but I don't think we will block, we I don't think we will block the bring up of a volume if a resize needs to be done. Is that right, Hamad? Hamad is probably having lunch. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah having lunch. Okay. Uh, uh, so from what I know, uh, if the create volume correct returns the correct sizes, then there is no control expand needed because the volume already has the right size. All we need to resize is the file system. And I am not sure what Kubelet does. Uh, uh, Kubelet but I think um, Kubelet is only watching for the status. It's only watching for the, 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 the condition. The, the, yeah, the, the key here would be to, to set the PV size of the resulting PV to not what the PVC asked for. And where I was going with my hypothetical question is like, does this violate the, the higher level rule in the CSI spec that says like, if you ask for a volume of a certain minimum size, you must get a volume of at least that size. Um, I guess if a plugin doesn't support like, so if a, if a plugin can't, doesn't support expansion and someone asks for a bigger size, then I would say the plugin has to fail that request. Okay, so so that so that would be the trick is 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 that uh, I I can't return success if if I know that I can't succeed an expand call coming later because because that I don't know if that would be clear from reading the spec that you can get away with this. Um. Yeah, that's probably another thing we need to clarify. Because I, if the user says like, I really want a 10 gig volume and I'm just happen to be restoring from a snapshot and I don't know the snapshot is less than 10 gigs. And then I get a volume that's less than 10 gigs and a pod actually starts running. Like I would look, say oh, Kubernetes sorry, screwed up, I right? Actually, I actually have a hard stop today right now. <laughs> oh. I have a meeting right now. So, um, so I have to, uh, you, you guys can continue. Uh, I just have to stop the recording because I started recording today. Sorry, I forgot. All right. Okay, no problem. I, 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 I think we can yeah. sure.